views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Artie is renowned psychic medium, spiritual life coach, and entertaining motivational speaker. Sky's given talent of inner guidance gives her the ability to interpret feelings and images impressed upon her by the spirit world. Call now for answers from your guardian angels and loved ones at 800-930-2819. And now here are your hosts, Artie and Sky. Hi, everybody. And welcome to another week of Angels and Answers with Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. That's me, guys. And we're real excited about our show today. We have lots of great things to tell you and lots of great um, readings to do for you. So don't forget to call in. Um, if uh, Hey, Bri, put up the number so I can give it to the audience so that they can call us for a mini reading, okay? And it's free, guys. So take advantage of that. Yeah, well, I think I know the number. It's one one eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. That sounds right. So that's about right. So if, you if want- not, try a few other numbers. <laughs> but I think that's it. So if you want to get a reading with myself, the number is nine zero eight five hundred one four seven four. And if you want to get a reading with the talented Arthur Hoffman, man about town. There you go. His number is eight seven seven Angel Zero Two. Ta-da, in stereo, la la. There you go. Yeah, so tell us our topics today, my dear partner. You know, it's something that's exactly what, what you're looking was, for. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm, I'm looking, looking for. for. Well, I you know, I woke, you up, I woke up in the, in the middle of the morning. I was like about, it was like 4 o'clock in the morning uh, yeah. a few nights ago. And I had this epiphany where I am like getting all these spiritual, deep spiritual messages. And then I got the topic. And next week, so it says, why does God allow bad things to happen? Oh, I don't think he does. Yeah, he does. What? 911. What about it? Oh, why he didn't does allow that to happen. We have, he we allowed have, it on. to happen. No, he did not. We have free will. Right, he which means he in. allowed. He allows it. But the whole thing is when he's he not allowed to everything. step into free will. Right, that's what I'm saying. So he, he allows it. He allows everything to happen. But that's debatable. It's not debatable. He put us here with free will. I just slapped your face. He allowed me to do that. He didn't stop me. No, of course no, he's not going to stop when, you, but I'm not saying, you had a problem. I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. When I say God allows everything to happen, literally God allows everything to happen. Everything is by our free will and choice. Right. And right. we're the ones who have to deal with the karma. Uh, of the aftermath. Of, yeah, of the aftermath. There's there's a reaction to, to every action that you do. Correct. And so, therefore, that's what I mean by God allows you the free will. God allows everything to happen, but there is okay. a I reaction to that. action. I'll buy that if you say God doesn't allow everything to happen. He allows God, everything oh, to happen. No, listen to I, the way I'm going to word it. Go ahead. God allows you to make everything happen. Yeah. Because he doesn't exactly. say, okay, Scott, exactly. I want you to blow up the World Trade Center today. So he puts the thought in my mind? Absolutely not. I put the thought in my mind. Or Sky, I want yeah. you. To, I want you to punch one of your kids out today, or I want you to break a piece of furniture, or I want you. No, to, he doesn't want you to do anything. No, that's what I'm saying. So no. he does, he uh, give he allows you free will. Right, to do and exactly that's exactly what, what you want to do. That's exactly what I'm saying. It's, oh, okay. He allows everything to happen. That's what I'm saying. But he also takes care of the aftermath through prayer. Oh wait, wait, right again. That's your free will. So by you asking for his help, yeah. By you asking you. for his help, he will help you. Or the angels will help you. It doesn't always happen in the exact way that you want. It doesn't happen as fast as you want. True. But nonetheless, it still happens. And regardless, every reaction, there is an act. I mean, with every action, there's a reaction. Without a doubt. You know, and that's what I mean by why does God allow bad things to happen? And he allows good things to happen. He allows everything to happen. And he allows the darkness to happen. He allows, you know... Uh, People with bad dispositions to happen. He allows everything to happen, but he also allows healing. He allows love. He allows everything to happen. And it is by our will, by our choices, which gives us the ability to either 
keep on going in a piss poor direction, or we could heal, or we could forgive, or we could hang on to anger, or we could hang on to bitterness. It's all by our choice. Sure. However, I don't think that he puts the thought in your mind. Uh, Sky, go set fire to your house today. No, 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 no. That's not the point. That's not the point. No, but I understand what you're saying completely, and I do agree with he allows. No, you don't. No, you don't. (laughs) He knows me too well. (laughs) He allows us to have free will. In the case of having free will, in essence, in essence, he allows us to do whatever we want. So he allows us to do good and bad in essence. However, anybody that's normal and doesn't have mental issues understands that there's a line where you have to not cross. Do you understand? You can't just go burn down somebody's house. Yes, you can. Um, You can. You could do anything you want. You could do anything you want. However, there's a set of codes and ethics that we live by. Right. That's it. That's that's the ethics. Right. So if you want to live by ethics, then this is what you do or don't do. If you want to live by ethics. If you don't want to live by ethics, then there's no boundaries and you could do whatever you want. Now, granted, there is a lot of ramifications to your actions. And so, therefore, there's jail time and there's hurt feelings and there's everything else. Punishment. Yeah, but it's not really punishment. It's cause and effect. Correct. I so, that. so you could call it punishment because there's going to be a cause and effect in a negative way. But there's also cause and but, effect in a positive way too. Of course, there is. And that's what I'm one hundred percent. I live for cause 100%. and effect in a positive way. I love the fact that there are people out there who cherish me, and I love the fact that I cherish them, and I love the fact that they they show it in many different ways. And I love the fact that I show it to them in many different ways. So in that case, too, we have like God is like making us not making us, but gives us the free will to do and say and love and not love in whichever manner we see fit. God gives us the ability to think for ourselves. Correct. It could be in happiness. It could be in sadness. It could be in bitterness. It could be in overcoming obstacles. It could be achieving whatever it is you personally want. Now, what happens is that people who tend to hang on to anger and resentments and refuses to not be forgiving and hold on to, like I said, resentments, what happens is that when you hold on to all this bitterness, your emotions and your physical body will will follow whatever, well, wait, let me rephrase that. Your physical body will follow whatever your emotions are. So if your emotions are very riled up, if your emotions are very riled up, your physical body will start to feel sick. You get blood pressure. You get blood pressure. You get ulcers. You get cancer. You get heart conditions. Okay. Because of your actions, you've created the stress, which then creates whatever, whatever to happen there. I agree with that. Now, also, there's, you know, like if you're like my father, how my father was, which is a trait that I took, that whenever there's a lot of anxiety or you're upset or angry, I explode. My my father will explode. But the moment we explode, well, my father carries the anger. But, you know, but the thing is, is that you don't keep it in your system. You you get it out. I now, never saw you explode. No, it's a rarity. That, that's real. It's rare. a rarity. But I do get upset. And you could even I ask. You get upset. You but... can even ask my ex. <laughs> no. So, but, I know you get upset, but I never, I never saw you really ba-boom. Yeah. No, I, I get up. When, when I get upset, mm. everyone around me gets really either frightened or upset because it is so not my demeanor. Yeah. But when I explode, I explode. But it's not a part of my natural character to to live like that. You know, it's like having, you know, it's like a country that has the hydrogen bomb. Right. It's not that you use it, that you have to feel threatened every time you go to that country because they have the hydrogen bomb or the atomic bomb. But knowing that it's there, everybody has that in them. And then you have these people who are constantly using their their uh, bad their bad karma their bad karma their ammunition to to make it as a way of life sure. you know they're very angry they're always yelling they're always upset they're always judgmental mm-hmm. whereas you know like like I said within myself the only time I explode is when I am really upset about a something but the moment I get it out of my system I'm good I don't hold on to it I let it go I got it out of my system and now I can relax you know what it's a very sad existence when you you cannot find peace of mind and you continually harp on the same things day after day after day. Oh, after so day. many people be- beat on a dead oh horse. Oh my God, you have no idea. And it's so sad to dwell on something. And especially when you have no control over it or when you try to control 
When you try to control so many people, you try to control your situation so much and you just don't let things happen, that's when you start getting sick. And when you start getting sick, I'm not only talking about, and you're not only talking about physical, there's a lot lot of mental illness that comes with that. And what comes with that is also a commercial commercial break. (laughs) So, all right, everyone, stick around because Sky and I, we're going to be right back right after this commercial. This is Dr. Pat. The ancient Inca root vegetable maca is world renowned for its wide array of health benefits. As a family run company of true maca specialists, the maca team's mission is to provide you with fresh, organic, premium quality maca powders at a fair price. Amazing. All of the products are always organically grown, fair traded, GMO free, fresh, and potent. So don't take my word for it. Experience the life changing benefits of maca today. Visit themacateam.com. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award winning host Dr. Pat Vasily is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Pat Show.com for listening times in your area. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong for the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease we are not going to let you down we're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio the message will continue the conversations will become stronger and the healing epic Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. 
All right. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Artie and Answers. Angels and Answers. And we were, this was brought to you by Dreamweaver by Gary Wright, a hell of a nice guy. Love that song. We got some other cool songs that uh, you're going to want to hear, you listen to, bring it back to the olden days. Really cool, fun songs for you. So Yeah, and I, we'd like to see some people call so we could have some conversation with you guys. And we could also have conversations with ourselves, too, so that's okay. So you can kick back, relax, and, and enjoy, just and just listen. So we're talking about how God hates everybody. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> how he just allows everything bad to happen, and, hey, wait a minute. and, and the joke is on us. Hey, let's tell everybody the good news. Being today is the first day of a Mercury, a retrograde. Yeah, she's being I, sarcastic when she says that. The I, good news. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Mercury retrograde, uh, as uh, some of you know, some of you don't know, when we're in, and Mercury retrograde is when the stars are lined up in a particular way. And there's, I heard there's four planets that's going in reverse. Oy. All right. And I don't even know astrology that well, but <laughs> I have a friend of mine who's very good at astrology. She knows it through and through. Yeah. And she says there's four planets going in reverse. So when is the that planets in Mercury retrograde? Yeah. Planet it's usually not there. four of them. There's usually oh, one or two. Great. But there's four of them going in reverse. <laughs> so it, it has to do with rehashing old uh, karmic uh, crap that you uh, need to deal with. Old relationships need to be healed. You need to be healed. But, uh, you know, check it out. Google it um, as far as Mercury retrograde and, and what this one's all about. But uh, this is going to be a hefty one. It, you, and I don't even know how long it lasts. I think it's like three or four weeks or whatever. That's how long they usually last. I think 28 days. Isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Each, I think each one is different. Ah. But in any case, this well, is the time. What. Wait, this is the time that you do not start new new relationships. Right. You don't start new, new businesses. You, you don't, don't sign, sign contracts <laughs> during this time. Um, you just want to make sure that, you know... Uh, if you already started something right beforehand and then you work through this, you're okay. You just don't want to do it during a Mercury retrograde because things are not going to go in your favor. Also understand everything and anything that can go wrong, it's going to happen during Mercury retrograde. Miscommunications with other people, it's going to happen during Mercury retrograde. So try to take it, it you know, like a mensch, take it like a good person and just you understand you're not the only one going through a lot of crap, but is there any way of protection against mercury retrograde? Can we protect ourselves? Yeah, we can protect ourselves by asking for protection, literally asking for protection. And it's also, you know, when you have an understanding, it's like almost like being in a tidal wave. And when you have an understanding that you're going to be bashed around or things might not go your way, you have to, uh, it, it's your disposition on how well you choose to handle the situation and not allow people in situations to get the best of you. Yeah. So it's very important for you to, um, you know, like I said, just, you know, try to take it on the down low and not not allow. Uh, don't get invested on everyone else's emotional stage of drama and bullcrap and stuff. Right. Because it's only going to hurt you more. This is true. Oh, you know what? I took your advice. And the last candle that I lit for the angels. I actually lit it from the candle prior before it went out. And because of that, so many wonderful things have gone my way. Oh, good. Oh, my gosh. What a difference. It's funny that you should say that because um, yesterday I was being challenged throughout the entire day. I mean, the entire day. But yet everything resolved itself. I'll give you an example. I um, was multitasking. And I was taking care of a few things that I had to do at the post office. And I'm in my car making sure I got this letter. I had to get that done. I had to send out this check. Da, 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 da. And so I ran away from my van to go in the post office. I realized I forgot something. I go back in the van. And when I got, grabbed what I had to grab, when I left the van, I locked my keys in the car. Oh, I knew you were going to say that. But oh, hold on. God. But wait, there's good news. <laughs> so it just so happens that the post office is literally about 100 yards away from my mechanic. Oh. So my mechanic... Happened to be not busy, which is a rarity because he's usually busy as hell. Yeah. And he wasn't that busy. And I said, Trent, you need to help me. I said, I locked my keys in the car. Oh, all right, Audi, no problem, no problem. <laughs> so he comes over to me. And just by dumb luck, now he has all the equipment to open the window to yeah. get the But it just so happens, I didn't realize this, but I had a window open a little bit, a crack. Oh. So he could just put his little doohickey thing through the yeah. little thing. Yeah. And, and he did it like within 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Oh, it was excellent. done. So And I got my keys. So that was one problem solved. So another one was I went to Easy Pass 
And uh, because I had to change my um, my little easy pass doohickey thing because the batteries were running low, they told me. So I went in there personally myself. I didn't want to send it in. I wasn't sure how long it would take. So I said, I'm going to go directly to the office. So I go there. She asked my driver's license and I get all my stuff, uh, what I needed. And I get and, I, and this is when I went to the post office thereafter. And I go to post office and I went to the print shop because I had to send something out, a contract out about something. So then all of a sudden I wanted to, I, I needed to uh, use my credit card because I was making a purchase and I also needed to make sure I had my photo ID because I was purchasing something I needed to show my photo ID for later on. So all of a sudden I go to look for my driver's license and it's not around. It's oh, not where yeah. anything is. So I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, did I leave it in, in Newark where oh. Easy Pass is? You know, but I said, I went to the post office, I went to the print shop, I said, you know what, let me go to the post office first because it's, it's right nearby my place. So I go to the post office and thank God, I said, did, yeah. did I leave my driver's license? I don't even oh. know why I would pull out my driver's license at the post office because I didn't need to at all. Did you use your credit card there? No, not at all. No, because I paid cash. Oh. So I don't know why I would <laughs> even pull my my uh, driver's license that because I have it with all my other cards and my credit cards. I have it in one pile. I don't use a wallet. Uh, I just, you know, put it in my back pocket. Yeah. And, and so that was resolved. And then I was like constantly getting calls, whether it be with reads or with parties, or I was getting calls with, uh, you know, going on estimates for my window cleaning business and stuff like that. I was like nonstop and I was being totally drained. And then people were asking me this. Well, and that's how that. you lose things when you when you have too many things and you're multitasking. And I wrote everything down because I, I do practice what I preach. I wrote yeah. everything down on paper as yeah, far as a, a checklist. Yeah. You know, so it's very important. So I, I just got, looked yeah. down. I, I know what you're saying. But I was going crazy. I know. I got a lot of things accomplished today, which was really, really good. I, I set forth schedules for myself in the morning because I can't. Usually I get up like quarter to six. And I start writing myself my daily agenda. And I did get a lot of stuff done today. And it was like 1.30. I said, wow, I have everything done. And then I got some calls. So I had to go out again. But I got really everything done very early this morning. Good. I even had to go to DMV. Really? Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. But we have to go to a commercial break, folks. So we will be right back after this commercial. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. 
Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Your empty hands in mine And scars Show me all the scars you hide And hey If your wings are broken Please take mine So yours can open too Cause I'm gonna stand by you I'm going to stand by you with Rachel. What's her name? Rachel Platten, my friend. Platten, that's oh, it. The girl is absolutely drop dead, flawlessly gorgeous. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I agree. I totally agree. You're in the brunette form. She's in the bond form. Get your eyes checked. She is flawless. You, got, you girls are flawless. 
but we were, you know, we were talking about, you know, um, you know, a lot of people lose their faith in God or stop believing in God because of so many hardships, um, you know, with life or their life. And, you know, if there really was a God, why would he allow children to get hurt or beaten or sick or right. and not just children, but anybody, anybody who you love? And so you feel like you just need answers. And you want to know something there? There are, you know, it's like when children are born into the world and they're born with emotional, they're born with emotional problems or physical problems or whatever. And, um, you know, and, and what happens is that there's a beautiful soul that before it's born, this soul is so powerful and so beautiful that it allows itself to be put in a body that's very, very vulnerable in this world. And the child isn't here for just their right. sake. They're here for the sake of everybody who's a part of that life, whether it be sure. the parents, whether it be the brothers and sisters, whether it be friends or whoever. And these, these beautiful spirits that come into this world are here to teach us about unconditional love. Sure. And you could do it, take it in, two, in, in different ways. There are people who, became, who become very angry and bitter at the fact that their child is, you know, hurting. But yet, especially with Down syndrome children, they are the happiest. They are the happiest, loving, unconditional oh people God. that you could ever meet in your life. Absolutely, folks. They are just so unconditional, full of love. It's like a, a walking light bulb. They are just absolutely walking souls. The beauty of your soul shines through in those children. And yet it's the parents that have to try really hard to keep their lives sustained. And you want to know something, if you, if for a lot of parents out there who's dealing with a lot of difficulties with their children or other family members, you also have to remember that if they weren't in your life, can you imagine how wild you would be? Sure. Or, you know, a lot of times this keeps you very grounded, even though you don't like to be grounded or you don't like to be restrained. But given your personality or given your, your circumstances in life, um, our children keeps us very well grounded um, to keep us focused and which teaches us about unconditional love, teaches us, uh, teaches us about patience, about forgiveness. So if you want to waste a lot of your time being upset or angry with God, if you want assistance under your circumstances, then ask God and your angels for help. And don't be afraid to uh, delegate the responsibilities and ask for help. Don't be afraid to go to colleges where, you know, you have these students who will get credit for, you know, um, helping you or assisting you if they're in the nursing industry or whatnot. Because how many times do you go for a job where you got this education and say, but you have no experience? Right. So what happens is not just for nursing, but it could be for accounting, it could be for lawyers, it could be for your personal business, whatever. But when you go to college, and there are forms you have to fill out, but you're allowed to go to college and get students that is in your field who will work for you for literally next to nothing, if not nothing, because oh, they know that. yeah, because they get credit for life experience. Life experience. Beautiful. And so my brother's an accountant, and so he gets these people. Uh, to work for him for literally nothing. That's wonderful. And he's gotten a lot of really, really good helpers. Uh, um, and who I like bet you they try so much harder than the normal. Oh, yeah. And he, and and it's amazing. He says he loves them. He says he's never uh, sure. he's never had a bad experience with, with, with the helpers that he's gotten. So not only just for, you know, for himself as an accountant, but like I said, so if you need someone who's in nursing or social work and is going through getting their degree, that if they're doing some kind of volunteer work of some sort, it helps with their resume. So don't be afraid to delegate responsibilities. Now, when you do hire these people, you're to stay with them for maybe three days a week, maybe two weeks, however long it takes. And then so that you could be there and watch them work with your child or your disabled loved one. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, you know, it's a little break. And then you could step out of the house. You can go shopping. You sure. can go to the gym. You can do with whatever you want, because now this person that you hired or that who's working for you. Right. For next to nothing or nothing. Mm -hmm. They're able to now, you know, they understand your, I, I your dynamics. I'm really very proud of the way excuse me, society has elevated, and I'll tell you why. Years and years ago, when there was Down syndrome children, 
everybody said, oh, you know, we have to always take care of them and they'll never amount to uh, getting, you know, a good job or a good education. And let me tell you something, folks, that could be nothing further from the untruth. I see these children, God bless them, as young adults putting themselves out there and working and getting an education and they fit into society beautifully. In fact, I would rather deal with a Down syndrome person than deal with a you know a, somebody who doesn't have that because they're so more empathetic to your situations being whatever it is. And you know the stereotype is really is disappearing, and I love that because yes, there are differences. Yes, there are there are small handicaps. However, it's nothing that can't be worked through, and I think that that our generations. And um, the generations to come in the future will find out that we are actually all alike. And that's, yeah, that's really beautiful. And I'm really proud of that. And if you notice these people with these, you know, emotional handicaps or physical handicaps, that when they do do their job, they do it with pride. Oh, yeah. And they take and they're very conscientious and they might move slower but yet they do it with pride. Yes, and uh, this is a, a quality that a lot of us have lost. Yes. And they want, you know, we want everything done for us right away, ASAP. Whereas these people are just doing their job, they're living life, and it's filled with love. And uh, it really is. It's a beautiful thing. It and is. so people who do social work, who work, who work with uh, emotionally handicapped people, you know, deserve uh, a one-way ticket uh you know, airfare, uh, fast as can be right to heaven Absolutely. because of their in- extreme patience and pa- compassion. It, it's a labor of love. Oh. So when you're working with the elderly or you're working with, you know, people who are vulnerable, yes. um, you know, it's a blessing for these people who do this. And it's a very, very hard job and they're grossly underpaid. Yes. And unfortunately, the uh, political system doesn't give them enough finances or credit to be <laughs> able to make it even more worth their while. And they are so grossly underpaid. It is pathetic. And what else is pathetic is that we got to go to a commercial break. And that's pathetic. And that's <laughs> pathetic. So stick around, everybody, because Sky and I, we're going to be right back after this pathetic commercial. <laughs> There's a lot of things I want, a lot of things that I'd like to be. the eight things the elements of prosperity want you to know. Lynn Brown is hosting a life-transforming, soul-expanding evening on April 30th featuring guest speaker and radio host, Dr. Pat Basile. Lynn was guided to make this a by-donation event for entrance, and all proceeds will be donated towards uplifting the homeless community. For more information and to get tickets, visit eventbrite.com. That's eventbrite.com and type Lynn Brown in the search. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. 
Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance.
All right, welcome back, everybody. You're with Artie and Sky, Angels and Answers. And if anybody wants to call in for a free mini reading, just give us a call at 1-800-930-2819. That was great. That's right. Yes, <laughs> Are your was. allergies bothering you like crazy? Actually not. Actually oh, not. my God. Only I... because I take my Claritin. Oh. Claritin is the bomb. I'm oh, sorry. That's why. I'm telling you, my eyes are running. My nose is like, yeah. like erratically. It's first it clogs up, then it unclogs. And then it sounds like I have a cold, and then it sounds like I'm stuffy again. And I'm not stuffy. And I can breathe, and I can't breathe. My eyes keep tearing, and they're itchy. Oh, that's the worst. Doc. And they're itchy. Uh, <laughs> Doc, my eyes are Yeah, tired. our compassion goes out to Doc everyone to who's... my eyes have oh, seen the tears and this low parade of fears. Sing <laughs> uh, a Jackson Brown, are you? There you go. There you go. Hey, hey, bro, don't play that song, okay? <laughs> no, not the today. The songs. We got to <laughs> stick with the game plan. No, not today. No, no, no. All right, sounds good, buddy. Thanks, Brian. I miss Rhode Island terribly. Yes, yeah, so do I. Where are we going? So, any case, uh, every time I go to Rhode Island, I always stay at the Winnipeg, uh, the hotel there, and it is absolutely fantastic. Oh, so beautiful. The hotel is beautiful. The area is beautiful. The restaurant is beautiful. I mean, literally, it is just, it's breathtaking. It is. It's just breathtaking. If you, and, you were right when you said you feel like you're in a Norman Rockwell picture. painting. Yeah, yeah, I really do. I feel like I'm in a Norman Rockwell uh, painting when I'm in uh, Westerly, Rhode Island so or Newport. Beautiful. And it's just drop dead gorgeous. And I took a friend there and um, we had a wonderful time there. And it was just absolutely amazingly beautiful. And um, like I said, the hotel was amazing at the Winnipeg. And uh, loved every moment of it. It was just. We had a great time. It, it was really, really cool. So if you were, you know, you want anyone to like visit you but not stay at your house. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I love you but not that much. Put them up at the Winnipeg. <laughs> they'll, they'll, not only will they put them up, they can put up with anybody. <laughs> so if you can't put up with your relatives. They'll put them put in the up, Winnipeg. Put them in the Winnipeg. They'll put up with them. <laughs> well, though, I'll tell you something. To hang out on the beach for a weekend is not a bad deal either. Oh, lots oh, of fun. Oh, my yes, God. Absolutely. Those beaches are to die for. The vistas are amazing. Yeah, it is. It's breath. It's different. It's just oh. different. When you're in New England, on the beaches of New England, and the water is very, very clean. Oh, it's beautiful. like aqua. It is. It's aqua clean. It's not Jamaica blue yeah. and aqua, but nonetheless, it is like aqua. It's it's beautiful. it's clean. It's, it's clean as can be. It's not like green. Like Manhattan Beach. You're right. In Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. Where fishes Where have could, three eyes. And you can walk on the water. <laughs> That's right. Hey, excuse me. I'm going to walk back to shore now. <laughs> and God allowed that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, so when are we going? Now you got me all hopped up. Yeah, I do. I want to go. I have I to look at my to. schedule. I got a business we have schedule. To make, we have to make an arrangement. We'll go. But I have to go in the middle of the week if I'm going to go. Because on the weekends, I'm busy for like a month and oh, a half or something. The week. There you go. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, let's have a blast. <laughs> it's a beautiful place, guys. It really, really is. And now summer's coming, and it's going to be even more beautiful. Yep. It's with, the, with the beautiful weather and stuff like that. Yeah. And even though, you know what? I never get sick of the place. And when I leave Westerly, Rhode Island, <laughs> when I leave Rhode Island, I literally get like a homesick. I, I don't want, like, it hurts me to leave that place. It really does. And um, there's another place. It's called uh, something with... Hey, Brian, what's the name of that, that breakfast place, uh, the goose, something about? Oh, yeah. You mean the, the Irish one? It's called, uh, well, wait, wait a minute. Let me not make that mistake again. Say it again. It's something it's the goose. It's something goose. Hold on a minute. I'll check with Cap. Hey, goose, that's fine. No, it's not great goose. Yeah, great goose will get you feeling really good, too. You, you can travel breakfast, anywhere. lunch, dinner, great goose is always good. You can try it. You can travel anywhere with great goose. That's right. <laughs> No, it's not the golden goose. It's not <laughs> no, the it's dead goose. it's something goose. Cook goose. I think it's the cook goose. No. I think you got it right, buddy. It is? It is the cook goose. Let me find out for the chief. Talk and I'll get back to you. So it was real. But anyway, it's a great re restaurant. Is that in, in, in we're on the bay? On the water? Not right on the water, no. Oh. no. We went to well, an amazing uh, place right on, on the, the water. Beach. That was the Adriana. Oh. Adrian or Adriana or something like that, that was in amazing. Westerly. That was really good. You know, I don't know how they make business or they make money because you can sit there for like literally all day and just Well, there's nosh. a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. And you people. just nosh and look at the water and oh my gosh, 
It's just so peaceful. It takes away all of your problems. It just makes you so serene and so peaceful. It's beautiful. It's very nice. And guess what? God allows that to happen. <laughs> That's right. So he allows good things to happen. He allows bad, bad things, things to happen. So. It's just all in our free will and what we choose. The only thing is, is that... How about people who are victimized? We are... We are How about people who are victims of somebody else, of God letting them do yeah. something bad? And so it's up to you to, to leave. If you don't like the circumstances or you can't compromise with the person mm. who you're with. Or when you by a car. Or regardless... But the bottom line is, you know, you have a choice to improve matters. And a lot of people, unfortunately, choose to stay in their poo-poo situation and just complain about it. Or or they're waiting for the other person to change, and they never do. Uh, But if, God forbid, you do get in a bad accident. And listen, everything happens for a reason. And that's what I was talking about. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. It's the truth. It's such a deep, there's such a deep level of reasoning why things happen. But in our in our simple minds, in our conscious minds as human beings, we can't grasp the whole big picture. No. But there is a karmic reason. It has to do with our previous life that carries into this life of why we go through crap. And why and why we, we're gonna have to go to a commercial break. Yes, and, and that's another piece of <laughs> Well, you know what? But all right everyone, stick around because Sky and I we're gonna be right back after these commercial breaks. Oh, God. You've been listening to Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Tune in every Thursday for this great two-hour show at 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And remember to call in at 800-930-2819 to get answers from your guardian angels and loved ones. Artie and Sky have helped thousands of people with remarkable accuracy as they tune in, use their intuitive gifts and inner guidance, and communicate with people's angels and loved ones who have passed on. To schedule your session, call Artie at 877-ANGEL-02 and visit ArtieHoffman.com and call Sky at 908-500-1474 and visit SkyOfAngels.com for personal or group readings. And tune in next week for this fabulous hit show.